and friends, in the first uh, session of powder metallurgy, we understood about the process definition, its significance, process significance, then the unique features of powder metallurgy. After that, we also uh, discuss the lim process limitations and then the practical applications of powder metallurgy and also the various materials that we can work on with powder metallurgy. Now in this second session, uh, our main focus is on understanding the basic steps of powder metallurgy process. So here in this session, lecture session number two, the outline of presentation will be the introductory part of the powder metallurgy to understand the process steps and then the basic steps of the powder metallurgy. So those steps are then uh, in the further session will be uh, you know discussed in detail. But uh, after that powder metallurgy when you compare it with the other conventional method it scores well and it gives more advantages. So those uh, will be you know uh, presented and then powder metallurgy technology there are two parts in that one is powder production and the second one is powder processing and after that how the powder characteristics affects the final product this is what is the agenda of today's session now the basic objective of today's session is to understand the basic steps of powder metallurgy to learn about the comparison aspects of this how the powder metallurgy scores well or conventional process then powder technology which includes the powder manufacturing and after power after that powder processing and uh, and to understand the applications of powder metallurgy process so briefly as we understood in the first session, powder metallurgy is a process by which we produce a fine powder and then that powder is blended and it is pressed into desired shape and then it is heated to bond a surface. So typically we use a large amount of small intricate parts we can and that too uh, with a high precision we can process it. Uh, those uh, requirements can be easily fulfilled by this powder metallurgy process. And as we discussed in the first session, absolutely there is very less material wastage and we can produce uh, many types of materials. This is the uh, exclusiveness of powder metallurgy and it is now powder metallurgy is used in many sectors. The use is growing continually because of its unique features. Now coming to the basic steps, the basic steps is the elemental or alloy that uh, we uh, use it first initially the metal powder is uh, processed or prepared. Then that in that powder some additives that some lubricants, some binders are added to make that powder fit for the that particular purpose which gives the desired powder properties. Then again uh, it is blended then after that it is compacted in a press and then heated to a desired level of temperature process is called as sintering and if necessary the optional secondary manufacturing and finishing operations that too in a very few cases and then the final product which is taken out from that machine is ready for use no further processing is required so four basic steps are powder manufacture mixing or blending compacting and sintering those steps are again uh, given here in detail one is uh, the metal powder is again uh, uh, prepared and that metal powder you know which uh, to get the desired bonding and desired properties 
uh, some lubricants added and then additives and after that blending or mixing is carried out. Then the loose powder, there are two types of uh, compaction processes are deployed. One is cold compaction process at a normal temperature. Another one is hot compaction process, which is again at a warm temperature. So cold compaction, dye compaction, cold isostatic pressing, or we can use rolling extrusion and also explosive compaction. The third uh, option is hot con consolidation, we can say hot pressing, hot isostatic pressing and extrusion or pseudo isostatic process. So, that means even at a regular uh, working temperature or at some higher temperature, warm temperature, we can process this to make that you know powder mixture uh, taking to a next stage of that compaction stage and that gives me after that sintering process means heating it at some controlled temperature and then hot forging or secondary treatment if it is required if it is not required then it is directly a finished powder metallurgy part is uh, dispatched for the purpose so these are basic steps in the powder metallurgy process when we compare powder metallurgy process with the other why the use is growing over the uh, conventional process. So, it is a choice, powder metallurgy process is a choice when the requirements are strength, wear resistance and uh, whatever the, uh, it exceeds the capabilities of die casting alloys. That means we can, next stage of excellence is concerned as far as strength and wear resistance is concerned and again the uh, capabilities of a dye. This powder metallurgy is suitable when it is compared with the conventional process. Now, it offers greater precision that means quality is ensured in this case and then it avoids casting defects which normally we get in solidification process, blue hole, shrinkage, inclusion. So, this is not again a case in case of powder metallurgy, not an issue at all and the, it is economical and the, the, the most major thing is for a mass production it is most suitable method. So, it is highly economical when the production rates are higher. So, that there we can justify the cost of a tool. Now, the powder, it, a powder metallurgy process starts with a powder and that powder production is a very key step, the initial step because the properties of powder that is its composition, then size, then form, structure of particle, then specific surface, porosity, its fluidity, its strength, hardness, permeability, etc. So, all these are even compressibility, sinterability, these are very important in having uh, tremendous importance in powder metallurgy to get that required quality. And even the metal powders, you know, there uh, we have to get that size from 1.1 micron to several millimeter size of the powder. That also plays a very important role. Powder shapes also play a very important role. So, size, shape of the powder and again its desired properties makes the powder metallurgy process unique for its conformance to the application. So, one is hair <coughs> or needle shape powder uh, shapes are available. Then again flat or flakes or leaves type length and breadth are many times greater than the thickness and another type, third type is equiax type of a powder shape, particle shape. So, those shapes are you know they decide the characteristics of the quality of that particular product. Now, the powder metallurgy technology is concerned, there are two parts in that. One is powder technology, the, the, the method which we deploy for powder production and then after getting that desired you know, type of a powder or with required quality in shape and size, we process the powder for that 
सर्विसेबल प्रोडक्ट सो पाउडर टेक्नोलॉजी मीन्स द ऑल प्रोसेसिंग ऑपरेशन दैट वी कैरी आउट टू गेट दैट डिजायर्ड साइज एंड शेप ऑफ द पाउडर पार्टिकल एंड दैट दोज पार्टिकल्स आर नाउ आफ्टरवर्ड्स वी डिप्लॉइड फॉर कंसॉलिडेशन प्रोसेस सो पाउडर फैब्रिकेशन टेक्निक्स आर देयर मेनी टेक्निक्स आर देयर ईच वन इज हैविंग इट्स यूनिकनेस बट ब्रॉडली यू कैन वी कैन क्लासीफाई द पाउडर फैब्रिकेशन टेक्निक्स मैकेनिकल एटोमाइजेशन इलेक्ट्रोलिस एंड केमिकल सिंथेसिस दीज आर द टेक्निक्स आर डिप्लॉइड for powder manufacturing and after that the particle classification is carried out and then the powder mixing and further processing so in this the microstructure control of a powder is very crucial the property of powder metallurgy product depends upon the type of a powder particle its shape its size and its conformance to the various properties which are suitable for the powder metallurgy process is very crucial so after that the powder processing takes place that we use all operations to consolidate the particles so now we produce the powder by using any one of these mechanical atomization electrolysis or chemical synthesis process and when that required size shape and whatever uh, the characteristic of powder tested and checked and now we are deploying it for processing purpose so the shaping and compaction that cold compaction or hot compaction that requirement is to be checked sintering process means heating it at a elevated temperature densification and then if required some finishing operation so it depends upon the properties of the powder so proper powder manufacture which are highly dependent on uh, the the type of powder that we are developing so some important properties or characteristics of the powder one is chemistry and its purity then the particle size then the size distribution the particle shape and the surface texture these are some of the you know important parameters which uh, you know uh, influence the desired alloy composition that's why uh, the standardization is available there well, afterwards uh, by using the type of metal and all these types of characteristics can be complied to select the best size of a powder after that powder mixing and blending so majority of powders they are mixed with other powders then binders and then lubricants this is necessary to to, to get that uh, green strength you can say then flow sinterability flowability all these characteristics then sufficient diffusion must occur to ensure a uniform chemistry and structure and we can produce a very unique composite by if we precisely conform to the powder characteristics and again this uh, blending or mixing operations can be done either in a wet or a dry state also so dry strength and wet strength green strength is also you can uh, check it for its suitability for manufacture powder should be evaluated what what is the testing and evaluation powder is tested again for its suitability one is flow rate it measures the ease with which the powder can be fed and distrib- distributed into a dye flow rate of a powder is important and then apparent density when uh, is the measure of powder's availability to fill available space without any external pressure that is called as a apparent density the compressibility of a powder is effectiveness of applied uh, applied pressure and green strength is used to describe the the strength of a pressed powder after compacting so these are flow rate apparent density compressibility and green strength they play a very important role in defining the component characteristics right so powder characteristics which are relevant to pow- powder processing just now we discuss once again a brief review of that particle size is important its distribution is also important particle agglomeration then surface area of particles inter particle friction particle flow and packing crystal structure of the particles composition homogeneity and contamination
these are some of the powder characteristics they influence and these characteristics must be measured and quantified why these are required to be tested the reason is optimize the powder fabrication process if those characteristics are quantified they are measured and they are tested prior deploying powder for powder metallurgy process that gives me optimized powder fabrication process select powder processing route also and operating conditions like compacting sintering and finishing operation they are solely dependent upon the powder characteristics so powder metallurgy after those final products which we can generate it like porous or permeable products like bearings filters pressure or flow regulators then complex shapes can be easily produced with the help of this with the uh, desired dimensional tolerance products which are made from materials that are difficult to machine or materials with high melting point those types of uh, products can be easily processed and where uh, clearly superior this powder metallurgy produces uh, superior types of a product and with economic advantage with the desired quality tolerance when you compare it with all types of a conventional manufacturing processes so these are some of the practical examples of the the final products those are manufactured in industry this is example of a connecting rod then again powdered metal transmission gear is shown there uh, to the connecting rod both the you know uh, forged left side the forged connecting rod is shown right side the powder metallurgy uh, manufactured connecting rod is shown powdered metal transmission gear is shown there and uh, by using warm compaction method with 1650 ton press and uh, this again teeth are molded net shape just see no machining is required for this so 30 percent cost saving is there when we use it with the help of a when if you manufacture the same with the forge parts and compare it with the powder metallurgy part powder metallurgy gives me minimum 30 percent of a cost saving example is automotive components helical transmission gears endoscope surgical tool then biopsy needles gun components all this we can manufacture it very effectively with the help of powder metallurgy now after discussing all these basic steps and its unique features again specific advantages let us uh, understand whether uh, through the quiz this particular aspect the first question is what is metallurgy so metallurgy is technology of designing metal four options are given there the second question is what is powder metallurgy again four options are given there production and working of metals as fine powder working with metals as fine powder methods of utilizing metals as fine powder and none of the above mentioned so met what is metallurgy is again answer is b it is art and science of extracting the metals from their ores this is metallurgy and what is powder metallurgy it is production and working of metals as fine powders so first powder processing takes place and then the powder is processed compacted and then sintered all these processes we use to make the sustainable products so thank you for this the third session will be again on detailed discussion on powder properties for various materials and then uh, how the sint uh, the compacting sintering and other processes are carried out to make a quality product thank you all for this session